In this video we're going to show you how to tune the carburetor in a Hawk 250. If you're having problems like not being able to turn a choke off more than halfway after it warms up, or if the choke is all the way off and you turn a throttle full throttle and it's bogging out and having no more power after half throttle, then you have to tune the carb. First thing you have to do of course is shut the fuel off, then disconnect the fuel line off the petcock. Next you're going to want to remove the side cover on the same side as the carburetor. Then loosen the band on the pipe that comes from the air box. Then remove the two nuts that bolt the carburetor to the head. The pipe that comes from the air box is pretty rigid so it's going to take a little bit of maneuvering to get it out. Next you're going to want to remove the plunger which is directional so pay attention which way it goes in. There's a slot on a plunger and there's a pin inside the carburetor it has to line up. The other side is the actual idle adjustment. I couldn't get a picture of me removing the spring to take the throttle cable off the plunger, but you could see where the little slot on the side is when you hold the spring back and you push the cable out that slot in the side and then the cable will come off. Don't let the spring fly and then you can take the plunger off. Here's your piston plunger, the retainer, and a jet needle. I use two washers on the jet needle to make it a little bit more rich from the quarter to three quarter throttle range. The idle mixture screw is behind that little plastic plug right there. I took a good pick and a jeweler screwdriver to get it out. From the factory, my mixture screw was three quarters of a turn out. I ended up having to go about one and a half turns out for it to be good. This carburetor also comes with tamper-proof screws, so we're going to have to slot those to be able to get them off to get to the main jet. So I use a Dremel with an abrasive cutting disc. Once you get the bowl cover off, you'll see the main jet and the primary jet. If you have to go more than two turns on your idle mixture, you're going to have to change your primary jet. Mine seem to be okay. This diagram shows how exactly the carburetor works in, in reference to how much throttle you give the carburetor showing exactly which jet does what for mixture. My carburetor came with a 98 main jet which I went up to a 100 and that seemed to solve the problem but I'm going to try a 105 to see if it works. It may be a little bit too much. I did notice while I was putting my carburetor back on that there was a gap where the intake boot bolts up to the head so I took the bolts out and added a couple washers. Now just put everything back together and give it a shot. It may take a couple trial and errors, but after a while you get it. A great success!